This review has been approved by Lord Carnage. Banished from Earth Classic Game Room broadcasts from the Intergalactic Space Arcade on its never-ending mission to review everything. Welcome to Classic Game Room for the review of Elemental Master, a game where you shoot laser beams out of your mullet. Yeah. Cut. Now it's time for me to put an end to your evil ways! No! I can't believe it! Long time no see, Layden! Stop playing Super Nintendo! What? Can you be Roki? Shut up! This music's awesome, let's listen. This music is great! And so are the cutscenes here, this is really fun. Sadly, the rest of the game doesn't quite live up to this, but it's still interesting nonetheless. Let's take a look at Elemental Master, a vertical scrolling shooter on the Sega Genesis or Mega Drive from 1993. Where you play as this dude wearing a cape and what appears to be a mullet from the top down shooting lasers. Conceptually, it doesn't get much better, does it? You can shoot in front of you, you can shoot behind you, there's lava, and it's from Technosoft. And renovation. Technosoft in particular is known for making some of the very best games on the Sega Genesis, and you can hear a lot of those trademark Technosoft sound effects in here. If you've spent time playing Thunder Force and Herzog's Y, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Zwei? Because it likes you. Who are you? My name is Tinkerbell, but for copyright reasons, I've changed it to Nina. Why not? So the game starts off like Thunder Force 3. You can choose your path through the game. Which level do you want to start in first? I recommend Lava, which may not seem that easy when you start playing the game, but once you figure it out and memorize the level, it's no problem. And the Lava level gives you the best special weapon. Each time you complete a level, you get a new special weapon, but this is the only one you're ever going to need. So just start with Lava. A good life lesson for any situation. Each time you collect a special weapon after completing a level, you'll add it to your column on the right side of the screen there. If you hold down the fire button, you can charge it and unleash a power shot. And uh, that's the only reason you'll ever want to use any of the other special weapons, because they each have a different power shot. And those are handy for destroying end bosses. For the most part, the game's not that tough until you get to the last couple levels. The music's pretty good, and it's got that great Technosoft style from the early 90s, but it's nowhere near the quality of Thunder Force 4. However, any game where you destroy centaurs, alligators, crabs, and swamp people on screen at once with a lava spread shot is worth owning. It's got great music, over-the-top style, cool backgrounds, and swamp people. There's seven levels, the last three are tough, but not long. Still worth owning though because it's fun, even if it's short. And uh, yeah, yeah, I walked right into that one. That's what she said. So I have two people to thank for sending this to the show. Joseph from Oak Forest, Illinois, thank you Joseph, and Ahmed from Springfield Gardens, New York. Thanks to both you guys for sending Elemental Master. Master the elements and the power of your hair to defeat swamp people and centaurs. See, you, you can't go wrong with that. 